Okay, let's get into this. Got a lot to cover. Um, been doing some digging, and I know I haven't been doing updates lately, but this is a cassette, uh, cassette update. CC, I guess, if you want to call you guys. Let's start with the thrash. We got thrash patrol. Got a lot of good stuff on here from like Megadeth and Suicide Tenants and uh, Metal Church, just name a few. Can't find much information on the cassette, but I guess there's CDs out there. And Flop Sam and Jet Sam. That's thrash. I haven't really listened to this yet. The Master Sleeps. Devotion seems to be interesting. And uh, Testament, the ritual. I seen that's signs of chaos. Electrical clown, clown. So many lies. A lot of these are in really great condition. You know. Show the inside. Of course, got the lyrics on the other side. <coughs> pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, my neck, in my neck of the woods, getting that metal stuff is easier on cassette than vinyl. Got a couple overkill cassettes that I picked up today. I hear black and the years of decay. Again, I haven't listened to them yet, but the lyric sheet. And um, Tom Petty, I know it's not metal or thrash, but is their greatest hits and I was pretty pleased to find it and this is alternative punk whatever the Miss Anis, uh, Purple Rain by Prince and the Revolve Revolutioners the Offsprings and the Cure and, and back to Heavy Metal, Iron Maiden, Live After Death. I know a lot of you guys have this on vinyl. And I'm just tickle pink that I got it on cassette. So you gotta take what you can take. And Cinderella which I do have a 45 Cinderella nobody's fool unfortunately that's not on this one but still having a complete album by them LA Guns um, I've heard a uh, VC talk about this a little bit, and I think, I don't know, just really starting to get into the 80s metal, so it's kind of still up in the air for me on a lot of these, and I don't really know that much. Lived a shelter life in the 80s when it came to this type of music, being living in a Christian home and stuff, and got like four Poison rec um, cassettes. I thought I had another one, but I guess not. Um, open up and say, ah, and sh swallow this live. 
flesh and blood. And Poison, the first album. That's going on. Something a little bit more familiar, like Black Sabbath. Speaking of Black Sabbath, I was on vacation this weekend, this wonderful holiday weekend, if you in, in the States, and I was up north. I live in Michigan. And I came across this yard sale, and they had pretty beat up records, actually, but they had a lot of metal in there, like a few Black Sabbaths, some Rolling Stones, uh, Def Leppard. Led Zeppelin, name a few that I can think of. Um, I offer a little bit higher than what I would normally would, thirty dollars for about a hundred of them. But they were in pretty poor condition. A few of them were pretty decent, but most of them were in poor condition. And of course, the lady who was running the yard sale said, "Refuse." It was kind of depressing, but I wasn't going to pay what she was hoping to get, which I'm thinking she was hoping to get about $50 out of this. That's 50 cents a record, and I don't think they were worth it. And maybe they were, maybe they weren't, but anyway, so let's go on. Go back to the cassettes. Uh, Black Roses, the original soundtrack. I did play this, and I gotta tell you, this thing rocks. Really enjoy it. Of course, we all know ACDC. Don't have to say too much about that. And of course, Motley Crue, Dr. Feel Good. And King Diamond, which I just picked up today. Uh, the Dark Sides and the Eye. I was I was playing the eye earlier on the way home, and I'm telling you, look, if this next King Diamonds is just as good as this, I'm I'm in a good treat. And I got a little story about King Diamond, in my high school years. I had a had a classmate in high school, and. He was a real big King Diamond fan. And he drew this nice little candle sitting on a skull and smoke's coming up in the middle as the King Diamond logo. He said he hand drew all of this himself. And that's how I first learned about King Diamond. And I know a few of the VC member members uh, mentioned King Diamond also on their records. But that's just a little story I have with the band. Dan, I got Warrant, Cherry Pie, and Dirty Rotten, Filthy, Stinking Rich. This is a pretty awesome cover. Money all the ears. Have a nice little cigarette, money cigarette. I guess this is, um, I don't know. I don't know if this is before cherry pie or not. But maybe it's after. Maybe it's the album right after cherry pie. Anyways, it's a pretty nice treat to pick up. I'm sorry. I went to Goodwill today in another town. And, um, yeah, I was, I was pretty surprised. They didn't have anything for records, but what they didn't have for records, they made up in cassettes. A lot of these um, metals I'm showing you came from the that Goodwill today. Like, um, Striper. Now I got I got a striper 
record to hell with the devil but I got a couple cassettes too and I, I'm pretty tickle pink on this one on that fine and we got into our aft track aft rex and I tell you I, I blowed it up on aft aft track aft track Mouth can roll dry, so and silence of the white noise, precision of time among the living. That sounds interesting. Stump 442, and here's a nice special one. Um, it's Neil Young's After the Gold Rush. Promotional, promo, goodwill fine. Last week, actually. White lab label. I'm telling you what, got a few minor scratches on her, but the vinyl. Is in excellent condition. Well, okay, maybe very good plus plus to near mint, but can't say the same for the cover. Um, obvious, a radio station had had it because it says for play between noon and 3 a.m. and got a bunch of side notes on a few of the songs. Um, all that but the vinyl is in great shape so I guess he can't can't go wrong on that thanks for watching I like to try to keep my videos on in 20 minutes I got a short extent uh, attention span and that's the reason why I don't like making long videos probably gonna add this last part out mm -hmm.